hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in in today's video so today i'll be showing you how i make this bonnet before then if you're new to my channel or you're just seeing my video for the first time welcome my name is abigail Ifoma. thank you so much for stopping by and please do keep on watching so you'll be needing your material you can use any material of your choice so right now i have satin material and then i'm going to measure it by 24 by 20 and when i get the measurement i'll fold it into two after folding it into two i'll fold it again into two that makes it into four in starting from the edge the closed edge i'm going to measure 11 and the half inch so when i get 11 and the half inch i'll measure it from the from the beginning all the way to the end and then cut it out with my scissors so at this point i already measured it 11 and a half inch after cutting it with my scissors here is how it's going to look like and then i'll just open it back and then it turns into a cycle shape so right now this is how it is so i'll get my lining the lining i'm going to use to add i'm using black color for it i'll lay it down and then put the one i already cut out i'll put the main fabric i'm going to put it on top and cut it out with scissors so by then i'll be having two fabrics So at this point i'm done cutting it out so here is how it is i have two fabrics now so i'm going to put the both fabric the, the right side facing each other and close it up with a uh, pin So after doing that, I'm going to sew it round and leave a small space so I can turn it over to the right side after sewing. So here is how it is after sewing it round like i said i left a um, small space so i can turn it over to the right side so i'm going to turn it over to the other side that's to the right side then press it down with my iron So after pressing it down, this is how it's looking like. So I'm going to measure it one and a half inch. I'm going to measure it round and sew it.
next one i'm going the next line i'm going to do it's uh, going to be half inch then sew it round but the second line i'm not going to sew it all the way to the end i'm just going to leave a small space so i can put my elastic on it i'm going to show you after sewing to to make you guys know how it is So here is how it is after sewing like i said the first one i had to sew it round and then the second one i left it open so this is how it is i'm going to get my elastic and pass it through the I'm going to use needle and thread to secure it. After doing that with needle and thread, I will close it up. So at this point you can use your needle and thread if you want or you can take it to the machine. So here is the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please if you do, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Join the family and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed always.